I've given up wearing my Fitbit. <laughs> but one out of every five Americans does wear a Fitbit or an Apple Watch. So you can already track your heart rate, but now this technology might go a step further. As Denver 7's Jackie Crayer shows us, it may prevent strokes, even save lives. The heart beats more than 100,000 times a day, adjusting to exercise, to eating, to sleeping. But for 3 million Americans, like Rick Barnes, there's a problem. Basically, my hand is, is just hanging there, and I ran to my home, and I was running upstairs. He suffers from atrial fibrillation, or AFib, an abnormal heart rhythm. Barnes used to do construction work and continues to be active. Monitoring his heart is important, especially as he gets older, because AFib is the most common cause of stroke. I first saw it in the swelling of, of my ankles. And, of course, that's because I was in atrial fib. My heart wasn't pumping blood throughout my body properly. Barnes was lucky. But not everyone can spot the signs of AFib. That's what a group of doctors and engineers hope to change with the Apple Watch. Using an algorithm in the app Cardiogram, a new study shows the wearable detected AFib accurately 97% of the time. It could transform the work Dr. Allen does at the University of Colorado Hospital, where Barnes gets treatment. If you're wearing your watch and it tells you there's a problem and you get in to see me earlier when you wouldn't have otherwise. He says 40 percent of his heart failure patients suffer from AFib. Especially if I can do something about that, that lowers your risk of stroke. That's exciting because I think then we're, we're really preventing problems before they happen. And that can be the difference for some between life and death. To have something to monitor and look at, I think could, could can save not only, a, you know, somebody having a stroke, but maybe maybe even their life. Jackie Crea, Denver 7. You know, in about a month, our kids will be heading back.